And good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our third race here on Monday night. And as always, let me get some music going for us here. We got ourselves yet another good one. So lots of playoff implications on the line yet again. We flip this over. On the left-hand side, we got Jim Drizzle leading the NFC West right now at 11-3. If he gets a win here tonight, he clinches said division over zero game plan, getting himself one of the top four seeds in the NFC. And that's big given the NFC's playoff layout. On the right-hand side, he'll be taking on tonight Miss Princess Diana, and she is your Tampa Bay representative at 6-7 and seven on the year, looking to keep her playoff hopes alive by getting a win if she can. What we're going to do is a best two out of three race, both using Isaac, uh, both using the same Platinum God save file, meaning that every single item is unlocked. Uh, on that note, there's seven banned items nobody can pick up on the way down. I apologize if you hear the sounds of people moving outside, but it sounds like they're done, so hopefully that'll end. On that note, um, again, you cannot pick up Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, Ipecac, Dead Sea Scrolls, The Holy Bible, The Shovel, or Toothpicks. Uh, toothpicks are on that banned list. They can be re-rolled uh, just because of being on that banned list, or you can take them. That's the only one of the seven, though. Everything else is roll it or leave it. Uh, all the other items in the game are take it or leave it. You cannot re-roll them. Again, uh, most glitches are outlawed. The racers know what rules apply to each of those. Uh, we'll get to any if we do happen to see them. But again, we'll do a two out of three race through the womb too. Whoever kills mom's heart first will get a point at the bottom of the screen. We'll reset both of them and start from scratch again. You need to win two out of three of those. So on that note, they're on a call. Let me get you a link into both of their channels. Again, say what's up to Jim and Diana, if you would. At that Cagar.net link just about to show up. If the bot ever responds, it should. They'll be off and racing whenever they're ready to go. So again, best of luck to you both. Jim looking for that division clinch. Diana looking to stay alive in the playoff hunt. Uh, And just like that, they're off and racing, so best of luck again. We got Guppy's Hairball to start off, and actually that will be a reset for Jim. And again, on uh, Diana, she had uh, Charm of the Vampire, would have been uh, heals as she killed off enemies. There's that reset finally happening, Flash not being a bro tonight. And for those wondering, yes, the artist on this song is the same as the one who did the intro for the league. Family Jewel 7X, we'll get the link up in chat for you there in a second. On this note, that dime chime... Gotta love it. So Jim at 10 cents now, also grabbed himself a Parasite, so off and running with his run has got split shots. As his shots make contact with anything solid, they'll split off in a T pattern, as you can see. Again, those will do extra damage to anything else they hit, so very nice find to start off with. Diana hoping for something similar here with her item room. Thank you, Freak. Thank you, thank you, sir. All right, so Jim, the first through his boss fight, going to move on down to the uh, second floor. And again, one of those items that you can use a glitch with, and it was actually Jim who was the first one to make it through with this. Princess Diana has got Kamikaze, which turns you into a walking bomb. Again, you can glitch this by holding onto a wall and not take damage. Risk with that is that if you're right there, as you might have saw, you open up the door, it's actually going to hurt you unless you're on one very specific tile. So you run a risk of actually injuring yourself and killing yourself with that item, and we've seen all but two of our racers this season get killed off by this. So a bit of a risk, but Diana going to take it with us. It can help out considerably. Also going to take the left hand, which is going to be more red chest spawns for her. Jim Drizzle with a pretty popular item tonight. We've seen it a few times with PhD now. So all of his pills will be at worst neutral effects, so no stat downs from here on out. Uh, also means that he's going to find out exactly what they are before he takes them. Alright, so I haven't played that Blood Machine. Jim, no luck on it. Going to wind up with that portable IV bag, which would have been a way to use a Blood Machine at his convenience. Again, eh, yeah, it's good money, but eh, how useful can you really make this? So he's going to use up the last of his red heart here. Get a little bit more cash. Actually going to use the last bit, isn't he? So you can get two uses for each one of those on the IV bag. So make sure that each time you're using up half a heart, you hit that twice. You have to kind of spam the button. 
Grabbing himself all this extra money, getting himself that heal, and... I was gonna say, might as well grab the key, too. Luckily, he did. Didn't prove me wrong. Ooh, and Balls of Steel, so two more Soul Hearts incoming for Jim. Really good use of that uh, IV bag, believe it or not. Will not take it with him again. That D6 is going to be much more useful, but a really good way to make use of a good uh, first item room there. Or first store, I should say. And speaking of item rooms, Diana finding hers attached to her boss fight here on Basement 2, so we're pretty close to being side-by-side. -side. Larry Jr. for the boss fight on Jim Drizzles. And again, this will help out quite a bit with these split shots, as that's going to hit every single part of Larry. Really good item for Diana as well. Miter is going to be now a 50% chance that any red heart is going to be spawned as a blue soul heart instead. And she'll be fighting against Famine, so everybody do your oh so favorite greeting for him, and let's all say, <laughs> if you would. Ooh, Jim going to head on into a uh, devil deal here, and the first one actually going to be Krampus, so guaranteed free item. This is going to wind up giving him uh, increased size on his tiers as they go further on screen with the lump of coal. And as they get bigger in size, also going to increase in damage output. It's a really good uh, find here, especially with having the Parasite. Those split shots will continue growing with that lump of coal, by the way. But again, Diana first on down to Caves 2. Going to get herself a uh, Curse of Darkness, which means no minimap for her. There's that lump of coal as Jim takes out Krampus. And he'll be right behind her on down to Caves. Ooh, and getting an XL floor on Jim's side, so really, really, <clears throat> excuse me, has been happening a lot tonight. Can either be hit or miss here. You can either really luck out, find both your item rooms quickly, and then find your two side-by-side -side boss fights, and maybe make it even shorter than just one normal floor. But again, sometimes, being that this is two floors could put together into one, this can add a lot of time onto a run for someone. Ooh, and Diana finding things that she definitely wants on this build. Lucky Foot, kind of like the PhD. Nothing but good or neutral pills from here on out. Won't be able to tell what they are, though. Also, if she were to gamble on a purple slot machine, go figure. Diana and purple things is now a 100% win possibility for her. Also, finds Cancer, which is one of her favorite things in this game, because that doubles your fire rate and will overcap your fire rate as well. So she's now firing out at about twice the speed that she was before. Well, Ravager, you realize what, why, right? What just started? Yep. Johnny called this one earlier, by the way. <laughs> that Comcast routing, not really doing so good this week. Ooh, health up pill for Diana, and pretty fly. So again, no bad pills all the way across the board here for both of our racers, and both turning out well. We got one orbital adding onto that cube of meat for Diana. Also got herself one health up, went outside with that small rock, or with that uh, item rock, got the small rock out of it. You can see him planted in her head now, gives her damage increase, fire rate increase, and she's going to move a little bit slower. Speaking of fire, we're going to get more of that now as a second cube of meat will come out of this for Princess Diana. She'll wind up with Meat Boy's head instead of the one orbital that she has right now, that cube of meat. Instead of just blocking shots and damaging anything it touches, when she fires, now Meat Boy will as well. That red shot is his. On into a devil deal. Wow, that nail's popular tonight too. So we saw, eh, she's thinking about it. Yeah, she will take it. Might as well replace that. Uh, Ed, you got a real good chance of dying either way, so might as well take the one that doesn't actually injure you. Notice the usage. Uh, nail gives you one soul heart, also ups your damage for the room that you're in. So I'd say very good choice there. She'll replace those uh, two red hearts that she spent very quickly. Already got one of them back here. And we got Pestilence yet again for uh, Jim Drizzle. He'll wind up, and again, also I should point out as Rainbow Baby following him, so I have yet to point that out. Is going to shoot out random tiers of all sorts of followers. Taking out Pestilence, like I said. And there's that Cuban meat for him. He'll have a second boss fight right to the, or well, right to, it's to the upward side here as he walks on in. Gonna get Chad, therefore little Chad at the end of this, spawning red hearts for him every couple rooms that he clears out. It started. <laughs> yeah. 
Anyways, Diana working on her caves too here, so trying to catch up to that same boss fight room that Jim's in. Also looking for her item room yet. Again, Jim has skipped one of them, though, getting a devil deal. Wow. Uh, Dead Cat, Spirit of the Night. Spirit of the Night, the first obvious choice there, and Jim going to take it in the direction where he gets eight lives left on his nine lives dead cat. So picking both of them here, Jim going to take that risk on down to his uh, depths floor, waiting for that flash loading screen. We'll see if he doesn't get another XL here. Although it is taking a while. Last time that did just almost pop through immediately, so we'll see if this doesn't happen across for him. It's still a random chance. It could still be XL. But we'll see how this plays out. Lots of soul hearts for Diana. She'll be on into her Caves 2 boss fight. There's that loading screen. So damage up. You get to also crush every single rock in the room if you want to. So Diana can probably just walk over all these, make her room a lot easier to deal with. It's a risky move for Jim, but I like it. So one heart on each of those eight lives. Again, if you die at any point, you go back to just one red heart container. So we'll see if A, he comes across any more guppy items, or B, if that doesn't come back to haunt him. Much like this loading screen is, Diana's now caught up and moved ahead. So second flash through. Let's try this again, Flash. This time for sure. You got this. I know you can do it. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. All right, so Curse of the Lost adds a couple of extra rooms onto Jim's floor. So not the XL that he might have been hoping for at this point, but a couple extra rooms instead. Yeah, you know, scumbag Flash, come on now. You're forgetting how to cap is a serious offense. <laughs> Haku laying down the law. <laughs> Far less oppressive than North Cap. Oh my god. <laughs> I love you guys. Alright, so both moving through their depths one floor here again. Both with regular versions of the floor as well. Though Diana finding a lot tougher enemies to this point. We got a lot more health on our side. Jim down to just that half a red heart right now. Make that one full red. And again, that's where every one of his lives with this nine lives dead cat would start at. So and the other thing I didn't really think about with those spectral tears and flying with Spirit of the Night, Jim doesn't get so much of that split anymore on his uh, split shots with Parasite. So he kind of took a little bit of that out, but does have flying ability that I forgot to mention. Isaac said, yet another follower on a trinket this time that'll shoot out pretty base damage tiers. But again, hey, it's more damage up. damage up and that oh so thank you very much health up for uh, Jim Drizzle as he takes out his boss monster too uh, excuse me Princess Diana on the right hand side on into her boss fight as well for Depths 1 which is going to be Gish guaranteeing her little Gish at the end of this so follower train commence she's going to get one too so that'll shoot out uh, tar tiers that'll slow down both the movement speed and shot speed of enemies and again not that great at damage but he's a bro I love little Gish that is so helpful so she'll be moving right onto that Depths 2 as well, but Jim building up a little bit of an advantage here. With the money, might as well book a Revelations instead of that D6. Every time he uses it, going to wind up with one extra Soul Heart, so a good way to build health up on your nine lives. Again, using those turrets to actually take enemies out for him. Very nicely done. There's a little Gish for Diana, another Soul Heart, and she'll be on down to her Depths 2. And we got ourselves yet another really good race. It's going to be kind of hard stopping on the left side, pun intended, being that Jim doesn't have anywhere near the health that Diana does with all of her soul hearts. Speaking of which, there's another one. Thank you to the miter. Is it funny that an arcade showed up? Uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> this music, man, I'm telling you. Ooh, and how about an item room and boss fight for Jim Drizzle in the same room here, so not that long of a Depths 2 to have to worry about, especially when it's a Necropolis version. That'll work nicely. Yum Heart not going to be as useful. That would heal one red heart container every time he used it. Jim will take the, uh, excuse me, the uh, Book of Revelations with instead for that Soul Heart. Speaking of your item room boss fight combo, 
Look on the right side, Diana's found the exact same thing in her depths too. So she'll get her item room and on into that exact same fight Jim's in momentarily. And Eve's dead bird, so we're building all sorts of Eve builds tonight. This is really bizarre. So if Diana gets hit, that'll spawn out Eve's dead bird to try and do damage for her. Speaking of that, up in her damage again with that uh, nail. Also giving herself yet another soul heart. Yes, those continue off screen. So she has got a lot of health here. At least 13 hearts at the moment. And again, fighting Blue Mom, catching up real quickly. Doing a lot more damage than Jim Drizzle's tears are. So has actually taken the damage advantage on the much tougher version of Mom with the expansion level enemy spawns. Again, just about done here. Everything that Mom does will hit you for one full heart. Everything else in the room is a little bit less at half a heart. Speaking of damage, pentagram for Diana. More damage on her tears. Moving on down to womb one. Curse of the Lost. Extra rooms on the first floor here. And again, down in the womb. No item rooms, no stores. Two cards, though. Really? A couple of two clubs. About 22 bombs. Sure. All right, world card. That'll help Jim Drizzle out considerably. Full map and compass reveal on that. And let's see. He's going to pop it on the first floor. Good thing he did. He would have been going the wrong way to start with. So he'll be heading straight up to that boss fight. You can now see on his mini-map on the left side. No item room, no stores to find. Still get a secret, a super secret room. In his case, he's got a challenge room, a sacrifice room, and a curse room also. But not worth the risk at the moment. Everything, again, hitting you for a full heart of damage. That includes going in and out of those curse rooms. He can fly, so he'd only take half of that, but still not worth it. So again, he knows where he's going. Diana's hoping for the best here. Still finding dead ends, though. So again, it's all about the timing on finding your boss fights. One of which, not a mystery on the left side. Alright, so Jim on into his first boss fight, like we were talking about. Diana's still searching for this here. So already halfway through death, working very nicely with those three hearts. Still not close to his charge on that Book of Revelations either, so plenty of time till he gets more health, but dodging that horse very nicely. Oh, I was hoping for death to die off before this, but there we go. Horse will wind up taking out these knights if you're lucky. That'll actually work beautifully. No more night spawns, just the horse left. Where's this boss fight for Diana, though? Cuban meat, again, second one for Jim. I'll add on to that uh, meat boy's head. Yeah, let's see. Is the extra damage on one follower worth it? Jim says no thanks, he'll keep his health. Move on down to the womb, too. Again, looking just for mom's heart at this point. Diana's still with these dead ends here. So let's see, this way, it's gotta be over here somewhere. How many more rooms? And again, this is where that advantage with the world card really came out for uh, Jim Drizzle. So he moved right over to his boss fight last time. We'll see if he gets the same luck here without that same world card, though. So again, all about the timing on finding boss fights. Diana just not having luck here at the moment, though. Another curse room. And she knew she was going to replace pretty much all that health right away, so might as well do that. Now back up to the top. We're gonna find it. I swear we're gonna find this boss fight. All right, there's that Booker Rev. So fourth heart now on Jim Drizzle's side, and he's gonna have a choice left or right. Right side it is. And yet another dead end. We're finding a lot of these tonight. So he'll bomb right back out of here, trying to get everything clear of him so he takes no damage. Let's try left side. Good lord. Dead ends galore. So Diana, over to the left side of her map. Let's try this again. How about this one? All right, now we got a chance. Good God, these maps.
There we go, finally, after basically full clearing her entire womb one floor, Diana's finally come across her boss fight. Grabbing that extra 19th bomb, now gonna get the Fallen here, so using her nail, again, damage increase here. This will split momentarily, she'll wind up with a uh, guaranteed free Devil Deal item at the end of this. Question is, what and how close is she going to stand to that spawn point? Because we've seen a shovel spawn here before, which you can get a banned item at the end of this boss fight. Ouija board this time, so Spectral Tears for Diana. Same thing that Jim Drizzle's got. And she's on down to her second womb floor. So again, all about finding your boss fights. Speaking of which, if you look on the left, Jim Drizzle just found his. So he's going to head back. Let's see what's in that library again, because I forgot. Oh, Book of Belial, that's what it was. So, damage multiplier for Jim Drizzle. He'll be moving on, looking for a one to nothing lead here. Diana going to have to rush to find her boss fight to even this out. And again, you clear out the eyeballs first, and then hit your spacebar or any other item that you're worried about using. Ooh, Jim actually got his bomb shot out of the center there, so add a few seconds here. Again, plenty of bombs, though. Not too much to worry about. And again, with that habit, don't worry about it. You cannot stack the Book of Belial, so that will not be more damage increase. So even if he takes another hit, using the uh, Book of Belial again would be pointless. And wow, his followers are just shooting those bombs everywhere that he doesn't want to put them. All right, so Diana going to bomb back out of here. Knowing that that's a dead end room she has no need to go back to. And let's try this again this way again all about timing but is it too little too late Jim already at about the halfway mark here on it lives again Diana plenty of bombs for this at least she can get through these rooms but again if you keep finding dead ends this is not going to help you at all so Jim just down to the last little bit gonna take Chubb out here and then it should be the point where it lives stays out the rest of the fight for direct damage indeed with that bomb that pretty well guarantees it will be once you see those red shots, she's not leaving anymore, so you can direct damage it lives the rest of the time. Again, just a little more. Gotta watch out for those globins, though. Mellow Ace can vouch for this, but very nicely done. Jim Drizzle finishes off it lives first. Diana just still looking for this. I swear if it's right here. It's gonna be somewhere on this road, like I swear. It usually happens that the, uh, the other racer finds their boss fight almost immediately. I wanted to wait and see. No such luck, though. It's usually just that one extra room. Not in this case, though, so no such luck there. Jim Drizzle, very nicely done. A one to nothing lead on his side. So again, very nicely done, sir. Very nicely done on Diana's side as well. That was a dang close race. Watch this. Oop, nope, it's going to be at the end of that road, though. Almost guaranteed. So on that note, we're going to get them both reset. Let me get you a link into both of their channels here. And if I could spell, there we go. Give them both a, a round of applause, because seriously, that was dang close. And again, just all about that one world card that made a huge difference for Jim Drizzle. So very, very nicely done. There's a link into both of their channels. Going to meet Jim Drizzle and Princess Diana. We'll be right back here in two minutes. We'll get everything underway for round number two. So we'll see if Jim gets a two to nothing win or if Diana can tie this up and make game number three happen. So we'll be right back. Hang tight, everybody.
Alrighty, we're back. We should be clear, so we'll give it a second or two here while I flip this on over. And as you can see, we got a one to nothing lead right now for Mr. Jim Drizzle. And again, he is looking to clinch the NFC West if he can get one of the next two victories here against Princess Diana. Who again is going to look for the next two victories to stay alive in the playoff hunt in the NFC. So big, big win here if she can get her seventh victory of the season. Excuse my hiccup. <laughs> oh, jeez. Excuse me again. Sorry, I'm trying to hold my breath at this point. Anyways, like I was saying, uh, basically, so we're going to get round number two underway at their convenience. And again, there comes the, uh, well, and there it already is, link into both of their channels. So thank you very much for that one, guys. Oh, excuse me again. Sorry, hopefully that one's gone. So like I said, they'll be off and racing. Same rules apply. Same seven band items. We're going to race through the womb two again. So whoever kills off mom's heart, we'll get the uh, point at the bottom of the screen. Mr. Jim Drizzle looking for that uh, division clinching victory here. And uh, Diana going to look to stay alive if she can get her seventh victory. So good luck to you both. And again, anytime you're ready, feel free. Oh, man, I hate hiccups. All right, so immediately with a banned item here, although it re-rolled into something pretty useful, Jim's going to reset it anyway, so let's see those no scrolls show up. Again, Dead Sea Scrolls are banned because they can give you a uh, one-time use of either the Shovel or the uh, Holy Bible, and both of which are also banned items, so we left this one out this year because of that. Rerolled it into Game Kid, which he reset, so pretty decent item, honestly. It turns you into Pac-Man, lets you eat your enemies, gives you a chance that it heals you for half a red heart. But again, Jim reset that one, so moving on. Excuse me, and again, Diana on the right side, going to be fighting her Larry Jr. boss already here to finish off games, or uh, Basement 1, excuse me. Got Harlequin Baby, which will always shoot out those V patterns here. So a little bit of extra coverage. This is going to work out nicely for Jim Drizzle, though. The Mulligan, that's why he reset. He was hoping for something like this. Now, as he fires out tears, he's got a, uh, oh, God, what's the percent on this? I never remember these. I'm terrible. Anyways, he's got a uh, uh, percent chance. I think it's like, I can't do math. It's under 20. Let's put it that way. It's under 20% chance that you get a fly as you shoot out a deer. Ooh, Diana going to teleport on into a god room in this case, get the relic. So every four rooms that she clears out, she's going to wind up with a... Uh, that was really weird, too. It turned Harlequin Baby into Ghost Baby, I thought. Either way, every four rooms she clears out, she's going to wind up with one soul heart to add to her uh, health containers. And hoping for a key here. Ooh, no such luck. Some more soul hearts for her. Can't get into that item room quite yet. Took her pills, which happen to be a fire rate decrease, so she'll fire out less often. That's like one of six. I can't do the math on that in my head, though. It's like 18% or something. I don't know. Whatever. Somewhere in that range. Anyways, Jim's found his boss fight. Also a curse room. Might as well try it. Eh, pills? No thanks. He'll keep that death card. And decision time. He'll go find his item room first. Speaking of boss fights, Diana finding her second one already. God, this chair. <laughs> One day I'm going to fix this thing, I swear to God, it will get fixed. So, Empress Cards ups your, er, up, will up your damage for the room that you're in. Speaking of damage, also Pentagram now for Princess Diana, some more tier damage for her. Jim Drizzle also just picked himself up a robo baby, so let the follower brigade begin on both sides. So, you see the uh, technology laser tier that comes out of robo baby, very nice, covers a lot of range for you. 16.6, .6. damn, whatever, I rounded up to 17 and then went an extra number. <laughs> so whatever, I was close. That's what you get for doing math in your head. All right, a little bit of health up for Jim, and again, he'll be moving on down to his caves. So both now looking for their item room boss fight. We got Curse of the Lost on the left side, so Jim's gonna have a couple extra rooms added onto this floor. And again, of all times, we don't see many of these enemies, but god do I hate those little Isaac heads that Jim had to fight. Those get annoying. Oh, it's that slackback attack. What's up, Raiders? How y'all doing? What's up, Baya? How y'all doing tonight? Good to see everybody. All right, Diana, moving into a sloth mini-boss fight. Good chance you might get an actual item out of this, so we'll see how this plays. Worst comes to worst, maybe a tower card to put to use. See Jim again with that boss fight fine. Gonna go back for his item room first here on Caves 1. Ah, well, how about a double card instead? One of the two choices, usually. Now cover the raid holes, batten the hatches. 
Prepare the golden poops. Oh wait, Diana's already got one. We're good. <laughs> so again, you'll see this be put out. She'll wind up with either the counterfeit penny or a bunch of money coming out of here. Speaking of that, as you get hit by these mini greed heads, yeah, you're dropping money, so yeah, have fun with that. So counterfeit penny, as I said, adds one extra penny, or gives you a chance, I should say, to add one extra penny onto any coin that you pick up. So pennies might be worth two cents, nickels might be worth six, for example. See, so still no keys for Diana, so gonna have to pass on that item room for the moment. And again, Jim's still looking for the same thing here. There we go. There is a key for Diana. And back on in to grab homing bombs with Bobby Bombs. So five extras added on along with that homing ability. So many raiders. Seriously, thank y'all. How y'all doing tonight? And there's that boss fight. So Diana pulling out the advantage here. Again, Jim Drizzle just found himself a golden key. That's infinite keys for this floor. So he'll not be using that one that he has. He'll be able to keep building onto that even after he finds his item room. Also makes possibly checking out your store worthwhile if he, uh, well, he doesn't know where it is and it's pretty close. He may go check that. And though Diana making her way through the, uh, excuse me, the black husk. And again, that'll pop out these bomb flies you have to worry about. And those will chain reaction nice for her. One more to clear. A little bit more health up with stem cells. Fire rate increase as well. On down to her caves too with the advantage. And there's that item room finally showing up for Jim Drizzle on the left. But first things first, immediate boss fight for Diana yet again. So this will be Pestilence, and we'll give her her first of the uh, cubes of meat floating around, blocking shots and damaging anything that it touches for seven. Again, the more and more of those that you get, the more horsemen you fight, the more and more meat boy you build up. Yeah, I wouldn't be taking that as Jim Drizzle. Allow me to explain why Jim passed on the holy water there that would have followed around behind him and spilled out when he took damage to uh, put a uh, pile of holy water... Pile? A circle of holy water on the floor, because you could totally pile water on top of itself. That's a thing. Yep. Um, so like I was saying, it puddles up a... Uh, <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> puddles up some holy water on the ground that any enemy can go through and take damage. Again, the reason he didn't take it, A, you have to get hit for it to spill. And B, until it spills, Robo Baby becomes Brother Bobby, and you don't want that. So in, once you spill holy water in the room, though, you get Robo Baby back. So I can see why Jim kept this the way it is. I wouldn't have taken it myself. Here's the problem, if you ask somebody what igloos are made of, 99% of people will not say water. Only problem with that method right there. Like, yes, at its base form, yeah, that's water, don't misunderstand, but like, what are you really gonna say when you ask what that's made of? Wow, look at this, another item room possible skip coming here with no key as well. Let's see if we at least get a key. Oh, she did. So decision time, but Diana get ahead to yet another boss fight. And she's going to wind up with yet another follower. So Gish, going to spawn little Gish at the end of this, shooting out tar tears. That'll slow down movement speed and shot speed of anything that it hits. So again, more followers, a little more damage up on Diana's build. And I believe we're going to be skipping yet another item room in our second in a row here as she tries to make up some time. Actually, she doesn't need to make up time, but she needs to win this race and the next one. So it's all about timing on her side, and she's trying to fly through this as fast as she can. Justice card for Jim Drizzle, gonna spawn one of everything. So one, in this case, Soul Heart, a coin, in this case, a uh, penny, one bomb, and uh, one key. How's the booze? How you doing, sir? There's that 9 volt battery. 9 volt battery. Jeez. For Jim Drizzle. Ooh, look at the follower brigade continue. So we got uh, Sister Maggie over on Diana's side. So yet another follower with pretty decent damaging tiers. And look at all of these. So many tiers. We got the miter now for Jim Drizzle. Again, 50% chance any red heart that spawns will be a blue soul heart instead. Also, um, now I can't remember the other item he picked up that I was going to mention. Ah, uh, 9 volt. He gets quicker charge on his uh, space use items. You'll actually see that charging while he's in rooms. Get another death card for Jim, and I was going to say he's probably going to use it in this room. Well, behold, he did. So you see it opens up the Necronomicon. Pretty well going to kill off anything in the room, except for a boss. 
You do really good damage to everything, though, and for the life of me, I can't remember, but I think it's 40 damage to everything in the room. But again, speaking of boss fights, Jim gonna move in, fight Pestle and Seer, so he'll wind up with his first cube of meat orbiting around, same as Diana's. And he's looking to move on to his steps. Uh, question is... Excuse me, with that Curse of Darkness, he's already gotten everything else done. I'm sorry, I got my window open and I'm starting to sniffle now because my allergies are starting to kick my ass this late at night. Ah, good times. <laughs> but at what cost? Anyways, there's that cube of me. Two more soul hearts and moving on down. So Jim draws a lot as depths one. Still one full floor behind Diana who's on depths two at the moment. And again, Jim's got an expansion version of the Necropolis here in the depths. So a little bit tougher enemies to look out for. Look out for? Yeah, there's a W in that word. Good God, why does this only happen when Diana's racing that I add W's to words? Why? Why is the purple bunny experience adding W's to every word? <sighs> oh well. Anyways, Jim's found his item room here in Depths 1, so head right on in, grab himself the odd mushroom, so damage up and health up with this. So he's feeling a little bit better about everything, including his tears and his health build. Yep, those omen bombs are trolls sometimes, I'm telling you. Ah, 60 damage, thank you very much, Hale. See, there's so many of those where I screw it up, it's like the sun card's different from death card, it's different from this, like, it just, it gets confusing with so many numbers, so thank you guys for getting my back on that. Again, Diana finding yet another boss fight before item room. Has keys this time, though, so we'll see if she puts them to use. Though I'm thinking probably, yes indeed, gonna head straight on into Mom's foot. Will not be able to get back out of here unless she finds a way to teleport. So fighting Grey Mom, nothing too scary. Again, regular level enemies spawning. Take out those tomatoes as quickly as you can. I despise those enemies. What's up, Zale? Doing good about yourself. Last little bit of damage to be done here. Diana just about to kill off Mom's foot. It was just about to point out you might want to actually kill her foot off at that point because if her shadow shows up and you kill off anything else, like one of those eyeballs, for example, she's going to hit you. So you have to be real careful about when you end this. Ooh, look at this combo. So World Card showed up for Princess Diana. She's got a loading screen. She's hoping XL floor. Come on, XL floor. Ooh, speaking of uh, map things. We got the treasure map on uh, Jim Drizzle's side. Also, Hangman card will allow him to fly. As he walks back out here, though, you can see... Wow, that's a hell of a choice. So you can see the remainder of his uh, uh, mini-map. Again, speaking of that, World Card would reveal entire map and compass for Diana. She's going to hang on to it for now. She did not get an XL floor, so you're only... Oh, never mind, there we go. So you're only looking for your boss fight, as you can see, on your mini-map now. You got a couple extra rooms, but no item room, no store to think about. So Diana thankfully was going the correct way, is going to keep making her way on over with this and two more rooms to clear. She'll be at her first of the boss fights here in the womb. Speaking of that, again, we got Jim Drizzle finding his boss fight for Depths 1, so two floor differential going on right now. And we got the Wretched being torn to shreds by all those extra attack flies for Jim. Who's going to get damage up himself with that pentagram? So one more room for Diana to clear out. We'll get her boss fight, but Jim down to his uh, depths too, looking for Mom's foot at this point. He'll try up to the top here. He's going to be able to make some pretty educated guesses. I'm actually going to say lower right-hand corner. I don't know. Something about it says lower right-hand corner to me. So conquest for Diana. This is not a cool fight. I despise this fight probably more than almost anything else besides the green bloat. I get hit so many times by those troll beams of light, he will just be like, oh, here's six of them right on top of you. Thanks. Thankfully, Diana's got homing bombs, so that's going to make part of this much easier for her. And let's see, top right contains absolutely nothing for Jim, so he's going to bomb back out of here and try yet again. About the halfway mark for Diana, doing very good on Conquest here. And let's see, which way will Jim choose this time? Oh, wow. There's a 
very oddly placed item room I wouldn't have expected, so he's going to head right on in there. I might try bombing right through and see if I can't get over to the right side. If you can't, that's your boss room. So Relic, yeah, just like on Diana's side, every four rooms is going to spawn a uh, Eternal Heart for you. Or a Soul Heart, I should say, for you. One of the blue ones. And keeping his bombs, not going to do the, uh, the Moon Strats and find out. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, White Pony for Diana is going to allow her to fly, give her that same crack the sky usage with all those light beams coming down randomly throughout the room. But most importantly, as you saw right there, the flying ability. There's those crack the sky light beams. And let's see, Jim going to make his way over to the lower left side, not even going to bother with the other one here. <laughs> Why not? No. <laughs> Moon strats, meaning if you use a moon card, you would teleport into your uh, seeker room, so we call that moon strats. Uh, basically, if you go through your uh, seeker room, though, we always say there's a good chance that you're going to be kind of close to either item room or boss fight. In this case, it was item room. Once you get down to the womb, it's much more prevalent that you're going to be near your boss fight with them. So that's basically the theory. There is your boss fight on the left side. So everybody they call that, you're right. <laughs> There's Vampire Heals. One more. Oh, look at this. How about a sun card now for Princess Diana? Three uses on that. Would have damaged everything in the room for quite a good bit. Also, full red heart healed her, which again, she didn't need. More importantly, map and compass reveal, so she knows where she's going yet again, trying to finish this off and tie this up at one apiece. Jim Drizzle fighting off Mom's foot at the moment over half, or just about halfway through, I should say. All right, a little bit more health up for Jim. Also gonna grab himself the Polaroid. If he gets down to half a red heart, that would spawn a five second damage shield for him every time he took damage. And he'll be on down to his womb one. So, decision time. Might as well try up here. I don't know that that's gonna be it. I think we're going lower left side on this map. This is what we're talking about with moon strats. So my guess would be that's your boss fight over either lower left or center, uh, like bottom, I guess you could say. So anywhere through those secret rooms, probably going to get you a little bit closer. My guess, now that this is not the boss fight, that's, eh, my guess is lower left. And Jim is going to try this way, so we'll see if this time he goes through a secret room trying to skip over one. Ooh, Pinky, I'm going to add random poison onto some of your shots. You saw one of the green ones right there, and indeed looks like he will. But again, Diana, just this and one more room to clear. She'll be on over to her mom's heart. So all about timing. Jim's going to have to rush through this floor and still has one more and those two boss fights to deal with yet. So plenty of time to make up. And there's Diana fighting double lusts here. Nothing to worry about seeing as she can fly over these rocks and they can't do a thing about it. And with that last little bit of damage, there you go. So Poison Touch, Virus is added onto Diana's build. If she gets touched, that'll add a Poison Damage over time to anything. But she's going to look to tie this up one apiece by taking out Mom's Heart down to just two Red Hearts herself here. And again, with just the two bombs, they do have homing ability on them, so she drops the first one right away. Second going to wait probably for that night spawn, and we'll see how long it takes her to get through this. Jim going to keep bombing on through, and lo and behold, not lower left. How about lower right? Maybe far right side. And moon fail. Maybe it's because Diana used the sun card that the moon strats failed. Ah, theories. Huh? Obviously, that has nothing to do with it. I'm being a smart ass here. All right, so we're about a quarter of the way through this mom's heart fight. Doing really good. No bombs left for Diana, though. And Jim going to bomb out of the center side. And here we go one more time. This room and one more. Let's find that boss fight. Right about here. There we go. Finally. Had to happen. So, lo and behold, Jim found his boss fight for uh, Depths 1. Again, that'll put him one floor behind Diana. Exactly. But she is working on mom's heart right now. And before middle bottom, that would have been the straightest up troll that this game could have done to Jim. Alright, there's that halfway mark for Diana. And again, drop that bomb 
pretty much I would question that. I would have waited for the knights myself. The eyes are way easier to take out. But didn't want to worry about it. Used it where she wanted. Halfway through the fight, and there's Chubb. So now the fun begins. As long as you can stay away from this and not get cornered by his charges, you're all good. There's a range up for Jim. He's moving on down to the womb to himself. And wow, that might be a few rooms to clear out. How about we moonstrats this again? I bet you he's going to bomb through that secret room. Let's try what's up here. Might as well clear that out so he doesn't have to worry about it again. Ooh, not going to bomb. I'll be darned. Yeah, she already killed the knights once. But as you can see, they just spawned again. Because if you don't kill her in uh, quick enough time, she cycles through these. So you have to know when the knights are coming. If you don't have quite enough damage, you're going to know that you're going to get them a second time. It's just a matter of feel. And there's that boss fight. So again, if he would have bombed through, it would have saved him a little bit of time. But eh, either way, this works out just the same. So Jim's looking at his mom's hard fight himself and walking right on in. So this is pretty damn close. Diana with a huge damage advantage. It lives is already out the rest of the time on her side. So how can Jim catch up here without too many bombs, too? So working along nicely, there's a little bit of poison added on. Yeah, she's going to disappear. That may hurt him enough right there. Yeah, walking moon strats. Oh my god. I was going to say, don't you mean moon walking? And you corrected yourself before I could do it for you. So good job, Casper. Last little bit of damage to be done here. Diana getting cheap shotted, but... Oh, woo. Staying clear of it, so nothing else Jim can do. That was exceptionally close. That was really, really, really close. But beating the mulligan with her build of a uh, hodgepodge ghost babies, ladies and gentlemen. Princess Diana has tied this one up at one apiece, so we have a game three incoming yet again, folks. So, wow to that one. Let me get you a link. There is a link already. Thank you very much. And to both of their channels, tell them both great race. You see how quickly Jim finished that off behind her. So, wow, was that close, guys. So, again... We're tied up in one. We have a pivotal game three coming up here, which means if Diana wins it, she'll have her back-to-back -back wins in this, get her seventh win, even herself out at seven and seven, and stay alive in the playoff hunt. If Jim wins it, he outright wins the NFC West division. So big, big matchup here in game number three for both of these racers. Head on in. Wish them both good luck for it. Give us two minutes here in the meantime. Let me run some ads, grab a refill myself, because I'm out of lemonade, and that's a problem. So I'll be right back in two minutes. Hang tight, guys. We'll get round number three started right after that. And again, we got one more race after this this evening. So hang tight. We still got a lot more awesome stuff to come. Who's going to win this one? Give us two minutes. We'll find out.
All right, we're back. I'm typing out a message really quick for anybody that got stuck in a freaking 10 minute ad because people are getting a lot of those. So if you do get those at any point, let me put a little heads up out there. Screenshot of when it happens, if it has that like, hey, time remaining left. Um, I usually tweet it at uh, Twitch support basically and they know where to take it to because I don't know exactly how to report ads anymore. There used to be an easy way and I don't know how to do it at this point. So unless one of the admins is, uh, knows off the top of your head and wants to tell you the exact way to do it, I basically tweet the picture of it to Twitch TV support. Like, uh, guys, here. So um, I'm going to finish typing that out for him uh, to uh, Twitch about it. Boy, I can spell. Let's try that again. About it. There we go. Anyways, let me flip this back on over. We got round number three just about to start here for anybody not trapping on a 10-minute ad. And again, sorry about those. I don't choose them, though, so it's random and it happens sometimes. So they will fix those. They do, they do not want those on the site. They will fix that. Trust me. So make sure you guys tell them about it. Uh, on that note, though, we are tied up at one. So Princess Diana just won the last matchup, and we got ourselves tied up at one here. So pivotal game three. Again, Diana looking for her seventh win of the year to stay alive in the playoff race. Jim Drizzle looking for his 11th win and to clinch the NFC West with that. So big match for both of these two. We're going to race through the womb two one more time. Whoever does that first and takes out mom's heart going to be your winner tonight. And you know what's on the line for both of them. So good luck to you both. Have fun with this one. But again, no pressure. It's cool. But they'll be off and racing whenever they're ready. So again, best of luck to you both. Here comes a link into both of their channels at CatGuard.net. Please hit both of them up. Give them both the same support that you guys have been doing to all the racers all this season. Seriously, thank you so much for that, too. But go in and give Jim and Princess Diana your support. And uh, again, they'll be off and racing momentarily. And just like that, they are off and running. So best of luck. We got bomb runs starting. Oh, boy. Ten bombs on the, uh, the right side for Diana and Mr. Mega with five free bombs for uh, Jim Drizzle. So both getting a couple extra bombs out of this. Jim now has extra damage and blast radius on his. Along with a Joker card, which will take you immediately into a Devil Deal or God Room, whichever your floor happens to have. And also immediately to his boss fight, so building up an advantage already time-wise, though very small. Believe me, these are small floors. So fighting uh, Famine. So everybody greet Famine the way he does to us. And let's say, <laughs> if you would. And bombs for days, man. Well, would you look at that? How about we double welcome Famine? Because why not? <laughs> so again, both going to wind up with Gibbs and Meat orbiting around blocking shots and doing damage to anything they come in contact with. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> times two. <laughs> That's exactly what we want. So, Joker card, again, you're not normally going to get a God Room or Devil Deal on your first floor unless you can port in. Jim going to grab himself the Parasite, so once again with those split shots for him. Worked out well in the first round. Let's see how well it goes for him this time. Same keeping me for Diana. Notice no Devil Deal opens up, so both moving on down to their second floor. Curse of Darkness for both of them, so no mini-maps here. That timing, I'm telling you. Something about the timing, guys. Not sure exactly how, but it comes into play. I'm telling you, it does. So, second key for Diana. We still don't have a single one for Jim here, so he can't yet get into an item room. We'll see about this item rock, perhaps, though. You ever want me to burn that song out of your head, uh, uh, Robinson, or, uh, did I read that right? Yeah, TBF Robinson. Uh, if you ever want me to burn that song out of your head for all of existence, I'll, I'll wind up playing the cover band, uh, that I recorded doing that song, and you'll probably never want to hear it again. <laughs> Every time I see those words now, all I can think is that cover band, like, oh, yeah. so bad. Anyways, Pushman on uh, Jim Drizzle's side is going to give him a 10% chance of a uh, Spectral tier, which, again, uh, will also have a uh, piercing effect on it. So be able to go through rocks, but also be able to go through enemies once it makes contact, getting rid of that uh, uh, split shot effect, usually. But trying out those curse rooms. More pills will leave it behind in favor of the Emperor card that Jim's holding on to. Wow, these items. So Jim going to be able to teleport directly to a boss fight whenever he wants to with the Emperor card. More importantly, Diana grabbing herself Mom's contacts. Oh, geez, these items tonight. So freeze effects on uh, Diana shots. You notice the red color on them. That'll freeze enemies in place probably sometime. I swear to God it's going to happen. There we go. So it'll freeze them in place. Duke of Fly is not able to move right there. 
Jim picked himself up number one, which turns your tears a little further south. Uh, mind you, they're orange at the moment, which you may want to go get that looked at. That's not natural. Um, but again, you still have the splitting effect from the parasite. A lot less range on this, though. More fire rate, so you are going to fire out a heck of a lot more shots. All right, wooden spoon, a little bit more uh, speed increase for Jim Drizzle. And again, he's moving on down to his caves one, same place where Diana just found her item room. Again, both with two keys, so she'll head right on in, grab herself the Guardian Angel. First time tonight, knew was going to show up. So that'll double up the speed of the Cuban meat she's already got. Add on a second orbital, doing the same exact effects as that Cuban meat. And again, item room on Jim's side, going to even us right back out, so both will just be looking for their boss fights. See what he gets here with his keys. Yeah, Lard's going to add on two health for him, so he's a little bit larger, but again, worth it as he needed those extra health bars. So he's at four red health containers now, actually has more than Diana. We'll just grab the two of spades, that'll double up the amount of keys you have. Again, if you don't have any, you get two out of it still, so she's going to wait a second with this. Oh, Mom's Contact, by far one of my favorite items. I don't care what you put that in combination with, that will help you against so many boss fights. It makes them a breeze. I love Mom's Contacts. Like, those are almost mo almost as overpowered for me as Mom's Knife. And I'm being serious. All these dimes. So Jim with that dime chime probably smiling. Just like his character. He looks way too happy to be shooting these tears out of where he is. But again, also finding his boss fight, as is Diana. So we're in the exact same room at the moment. Jim with that time advantage, having cleared it out first. We'll head on in and find Green Peep. So both of those eyeballs popping out. And you gotta watch out for the, uh... <clears throat> Lemonade on the floor. It's not lemonade. Okay, maybe it's lemon. It's not lemonade. I can't even lie to you. I, I, you ain't got to lie. It ain't lemonade. Uh, anyways, Diana fighting Gertie on her side. So freezing her in place kind of gets rid of that timer. Oh, there's the other problem. You can freeze your bombs in place, and they are actually damn near impossible to move at that point. So sometimes mom's contact control you a little bit. Very nicely done by Jim Drizzle, though, as he takes out Green Peep. Gonna head on down with a little bit of extra health to his Caves 2 floor. And again, Catacombs, the expansion version, yet another Curse of Darkness, no mini-map. And an immediate item room, if nothing else, so at least making up for some of that deficiency there. Gonna grab Horror Babylon if he gets down to either half a red heart or none left. Cough, cough, uh, Guppy's Paw. You could get that permanently enacted and get a damage increase. Once again, the Relic in a Curse room. Told you, you can get some weird items in rooms. Uh, well, items you wouldn't think of, but the relic every four rooms for Diana gonna spawn her one blue heart to add to her. Again, all these dimes. We're gonna add to her uh, health containers with that every four rooms. No, why don't you taste and find out? Only way to know. Only way to know for sure. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I don't need to know that bad. So. Anyways, Jim moving on along here. There is that boss fight on his Caves 2 floor. Alright, Jim gonna grab himself a heart and a key out of the store that he's in and head right back on over, looks like, for his boss fight in which we got ourselves a husk yet again. So champion version, though not too uh, incredibly frightening. He'll shoot out these multi-shots like Tammy's head. Just gotta know how to dodge him and where to be standing at all times. And again, not that scary of a fight. Couple extra spawns at the end of this. Uh, you could uh, put a straw on the floor. I don't know, I'm drawing, I'm pulling at straws, pun intended here. Anyways, damage up and health up for Jim Trestle with the, uh, the meat again that is mismarked. And it's not much damage up, but yes, there is damage on it. So Ouija Tears, yet again, Spectral Ability on those Tears for Diana. So they have Ghostly Ability, can shoot through rocks now. And yet again, finding an immediate item room here in Depths 1 is Jim Drizzle on your left-hand side. So he's building up his time advantage as Diana has yet to find her boss fight in Caves 2, the floor previous. And I think it really wants him to have the Game Kid. So Game Kid it is for Jim Drizzle. Again, that'll turn you into Pac-Man, allow you to eat your enemies, and give you a chance that as you do so, it gives you a half a red heart heal.
Hey, there's that boss fight finally, so Diana's gonna be able to catch up and move on to her depths one momentarily. We'll find out who her boss fight is once all these greed heads disappear. Liberty Cap, very nice trinket on Jim Trizzle's side. Couple uses from this, you get a random mushroom effect every room you're in. There's that game kid finally, so Pac-Man away! And he's getting lots of heals out of these kills too. Three of them in that room, in fact. He didn't need two of them, but he got three. Uh, either way, though, uh, like I was saying, the uh, Liberty Cap gives you random mushroom effects every room, so all sorts of different ones. The cool part to this is sometimes it procs the compass, so you may get a full compass reveal depending on if you walk through rooms, and we've seen quite a few of our racers. You're allowed to walk back and forth between two rooms that you've cleared and try to get that to happen. It wastes a lot of time sometimes, though. So it can be useful, but it can really cost you all that same amount of time you wasted using it, too. So yes, we do allow that to be used. It's just a normal use of that item. If you really want to wait for that one certain use, you can try. And Diana doing a really nice job of their orbitals once she freezes Peep in place. Again, every time those make contact, they're doing 7 damage, which is double your base tier damage on each of those uh, orbitals. So doing very nice here. Clearing out Green Peep. Box of items will add one of everything. See, Pinky Eye will give her uh, random uh, poison effects on her shots. And again, Lover's Card will spawn two uh, blue or two blue red hearts. Good God. Lover's Card will spawn two red hearts for Diana when she uses it. Wow, my brain is gone. On that note, hit me with those Mr. Coles if you're subscribed to Cobalt Street, because we got Loki on the left hand side for Jim Drizzle trying to finish off steps one. Ooh, good timing on that spike trap. Took out that uh, bomb fly form right on top of Loki. That's where this comes in handy. And again, especially with his low range, you can see Jim really has to get in close and personal. Caught that uh, freaking mosquito. Finally. Anyways, more uh, pills there. I almost called them coins for uh, Jim Drizzle. Wants no part of him. On down to his depths, too. And again, we got an XL floor for Princess Diana. So, easy way to catch up should she come across her boss fights. Question is, do you find your two back-to-back -back side... Well, side-by-side, -side, I should say boss fights. Or do you happen across either of your item rooms, if not both of them here in this XL floor? Here you see that uh, chariot card. Going to give her a one-time use of the unicorn horn. And both going to pick up keys here. Jim also going to grab himself a bomb, be moving on along. Let's see. He hasn't tried either of these directions, so probably going to try south side here. Yeah, subscription's auto-renew. You just don't know how to do the, uh, uh, the emote anymore. Twitch added in, uh, uh, what sort I'm looking for, prefixes on everyone's channels. Which is why until all mine get fixed, I have like double spaz at the beginning of some of mine. It's really stupid looking. But at the moment, I can't change anything about mine. <laughs> Alright, so Jim finding his last item room here in Depths 2. Again, Diana's still looking for both item rooms in this XL floor. Wow, no thanks. Best friend bomb. Ugh. Yeah, that's a game kid choice, no question. So Jim gonna leave that behind. Just look for his boss fight now. That would have been a one-time bomb usage on your space bar. So again, would have replaced his game kid with this. And again, would have uh, homed enemies in onto it uh, before it exploded. It gives you a little bit of timer with that. He is also kind of glitchy and has killed one of our racers this year, so kind of not worth the effort on it. And again, definitely not worth replacing your game kid for, so let's get a judgy please for Jim, as hopefully we get something better out of this guy with those 14 cents. Ooh, 
How about Mom's uh, purse? So double trinket spots now on Jim Drizzle's side if he happens to cross another. Demon Judgey, <laughs> we're not even touching you, buddy. So moving on along, no thanks. About two soul hearts now for Diana. So again, nice uh, health up with this build. Still no item room or boss fights. Unbelievable. After this one more room here. Eh, Jim gonna consider that library. Yes indeed, gonna head back for it. Oh ooh, yeah, might as well. Time and a well, time and a half to two times. I forget exactly the uh, the number. But damage multiplier there for Jim Drizzle with that book of a while, so he'll gladly take this. Really could use something with some range up though, and again, no more item rooms for him. And finally, our two boss fights, though. Still no two item rooms. Diana gonna head right on in, fight Loki yet again. So let's see those go well, Mr. Cools. Yes, this time I actually said it the right way. And no, you cannot poison or kill off that spike trap, sadly. It's gonna stay poisoned for a minute there, but no, that doesn't actually do anything, sadly, to it. Again, already halfway through here, so there's that boss fight for Jim. We're probably going to be in the same room in about, oh, five seconds here. So Diana just about done with Loki. Jim going to head right on into his mom's foot fight. Maybe a second or two advantage if he's lucky here. Although a very bad room leading up into it. All right, one free bomb. He'll head on in. A little bit of range for Diana. Now the game's trolling, knowing that Jim wanted that. Both heading in, both getting red moms, so exact same room at this point. We got Jim hanging out down by the door, Diana in the dead center of the room, letting the foot do the work for her. That's a lord. Thank you very much, man. Thank you, thank you. All right, so Jim the first to take out Mom's foot. Again, dying up just about halfway through. Jim with that loading screen error, though, yet again here in the womb. Hmm. That, when it does that outside thing, it moves your window, is usually kind of a sign. We'll see how this plays out for him. Any time now. So Diana going to hang out down by the hand here. Let the rest of the damage get done. She'll try to catch up. A little bit of health up and damage up for her. Polaroid going to get left behind. She'll head down to the womb. She gets it, hers to load up immediately. Jim's theoretically just about to do the same. If it goes through that loading screen, there we go. So both in expansion versions of the floor, Jim's holding that Emperor card still. So Will teleport to one of his boss fights. Was really hoping for an XL. That's what we were waiting to see. No such luck, though. So holding on to the Polaroid and Liberty Cap. If he gets down to half a red heart, that Polaroid's going to hit and give him a five-second damage shield. Oh, again, excuse me. Sorry. Actually kind of surprised Diana didn't go for that uh, library to replace her D6. But again, trying to make up the time and find her boss fight. Just wants to see what she can get. She knows that Jim's got that Emperor card, too. So that's basically a floor advantage for him, if you want to think of it that way. Oh, that's right. GTA launches tonight. Oh, yes. Well, that ought to be good timing, because our last race is at midnight Eastern between Cobalt Streak and 17 Puffins, so that ought to take you pretty much right up into it or through it, depending on where you live. So there you go. Perfect timing. Alright, no bombs left for Diana here, so she's going to have to clear this room out. Or could have just done it this way and had the uh, uh, turrets in the center do it for her, but a little bit too late. Might as well gr I'll try to grab whatever's in that super secret room. No such luck with Blue Baby's uh, soul. She'll leave that behind. All 
went down to the last two parts of that Gemini room. Jim with no range still. Like, that's why you don't take number one, is this complete lack of range. He's doing great with it, but jeez. Do not like getting that up close and personal. Those I don't mind getting up close and personal with. Wow, how about that full heal out of a gray uh, chest? Very nice for Jim. Ooh, there's Diana's boss fight. So she's the one with the advantage at the moment here. She's come across her one one boss fight. Jim's still looking for it. But again, keep in mind, holding that Emperor card for a boss teleport. Ooh, Joker card teleports you into a God Room Devil deal. Might as well try. Yeah, that's why you might as well try it. Hello, Brimstone. Goodbye worrying about your range problems on Jim's side. So he's going to head back on over. Grab that. There you go. There it lies why he grabbed Brimstone. He's very happy with that find. So he'll be back on over for the Emperor card and see if he can't find his boss fight to catch up to where Diana is. So she's melting through double Loki here. Already just about done, and she'll be moving on down with more pills. I don't know that, well, three of the same. Might try them. Ooh, and gonna get herself one health up as she uses the prayer card once. Gets half an eternal heart. <laughs> and again, give herself a bad trip pill. She may take one of those red ones with her. A little bit of speed decrease. And yes, she will. Bad trip will actually turn into full health at one heart left. And talking about hearts, like I said, that one eternal heart from the prayer card turns into her fifth health container. And again, could it be too little too late? Jim's found his boss fight from Womb 1. So if he can take that out quickly, he's got Conquest, so ugh, to this. He's going to use his Book of Belial, get his damage increase. But he's going to try to take this out as quickly as he can. Diana, out of bombs, has to find her mom's hard fight very quickly here because Jim is going to teleport directly into it once he gets down to his second floor. And again, with her Curse of Darkness, makes it kind of hard to tell where she's going and cannot bomb through rooms, which is a serious issue for her. Because Jim is just about done. He's got about 20% left here. Ooh, very nice. Right before he jumped off screen. So that could be flying. He'll take this, actually, because he doesn't have a charge on his Book of Belial. Jim's going to take the flying with the white pony. More importantly, that gives him a charge that also gives him those, that Crack the Sky usage. Randomly across the room, you'll get those light spawns. Again, not really so worried about that. Again, teleported directly into his mom's hard fight, already ripping through her. Maybe too little too late for not just Diana, but maybe everybody else in the NFC West as well. Because again, if Jim pulls this off, he wins the NFC West outright. Diana needs this win to stay alive in the playoffs, so Jim can hurt a lot of people's playoff chances right now. Ooh, and speaking of boss fights, Diana finds it, but it, it at this point, Jim with that last little bit to do against Mom's Heart, and there you go, crack this guy helping out along with that charge. Building up his brimstone, a couple more of these ought to do it. And just like this, one more shot after this. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, your NFC West champion. At now, let's see, I can't do math. Uh, 11 and 3. I do math good. 11 and 3 on the season. Outright winning his division, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Jim Drizzle, that SNES.